What you're watching is not a stunt from an action-packed movie, but a real-life car crash with 19-year-old Brennan Eden, a student from Mason, Ohio, at the wheel. It just was a freakish, freakish accident. It's early in the morning on August 23rd, 2010. An officer from Sugar Creek, Ohio, near Dayton, is scanning I-675 for traffic hazards, when suddenly he sees a car flying fast through the air. Sergeant James Williams, a crash reconstructionist, rushes to the scene. The first thing I noticed was the uh, what appeared to be the engine compartment on fire in the high-speed northbound lane which is opposite from where the crash occurred. Then I noticed the occupant compartment uh, in the uh, center median and then the uh, right side of the vehicle uh, sitting underneath the bridge. The car is totally demolished with pieces scattered all over the highway. The driver was three lanes over from where the crash had occurred. Miraculously, Brennan Eden is alive. He's rushed to the hospital by helicopter. I described it as a bifold wallet. He uh, was bent in half. It's amazing that he's even around. He hit the drainage ditch and went airborne, uh, glancing off the guardrail at that point. I would say he was going well in excess of 100 miles an hour. Eden's mother is stunned. From what the police and doctors have told us, we really feel this is a miracle that Brennan is alive. As it turns out, Brennan was pulled over by police just an hour before the crash. Brennan had alcohol inside the car, trace amount of marijuana with him, and also a device that was used uh, as a pipe. A sobriety test shows Brennan is not under the influence, but he receives a summons. Less than an hour later, he ends up here. After the accident, Eden's license is suspended for two years for reckless driving. All involved agree Eden is lucky to get a second chance. Based on the, uh, the manner that he was ejected and the distance and the circumstances, uh, he should not be alive today.